Good afternoon and welcome friends and family. It is my honor to preside over this ceremony as we are gathered together in the presence of God and the angels to witness and bless the joining of Bill and Lori in holy matrimony. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people and it is a union founded on love. If you would mind coming up and get the bouquet for me. And if you two would face each other and hold hands, please. Bill and Lori, I've asked you to um, join hands as a symbol of the union that you are making today. And I'd like you to think about the hands that you're holding. These are the hands of your very best friend, holding your hands on your wedding day and promising to love you and to work together as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength, tenderness when you need tenderness, and love when you need love. These are the hands that countless times will wipe the tears from your eyes. Tears of sorrow, but also tears of joy. And these are the hands that will hold all those whom you love. Years from now, you'll still be seeking each other's hands, seeking the love and the encouragement that each of you seeks from each other. And so here you are today to say your marriage vows to one another, and it's very important that you understand the vows that you are about to make cannot be taken lightly but with a great deal of consideration and respect. And I'm going to ask you both the following question, but first you, Bill. Do you take Lori to be your wife, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her for as long as you both shall live? Then please repeat after me. I, Bill. I, Bill. Take you, Lori. Take you, Lori. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to be. I promise to be. Your true and loyal husband. Your true and loyal husband. To love and honor you always. To love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. I will love you forever. Lori, are you ready to say your marriage vows to Bill? Yes. Please answer this question, Lori. Do you take Bill to be your husband, to live together in marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. And please repeat after me. I, Lori... Lord. Take you, Bill, Take you, Bill. To, be my husband. to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, I promise to be your true and loyal wife, to love and honor you always. I do this because I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. I'd like to refer to something from the book of Corinthians, the chapter of love. Love is patient and love is kind. It does not envy and it does not boast. And it is not proud. It is not rude and it does not self-seek. It is not easily angered and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. But these three remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Do you have the rings handy? Throughout time, the ring has been a symbol of unending love because like time, the ring has no beginning and no end. It is a circle, the emblem of eternity. Your wedding rings are also made of materials least likely to tarnish, also symbolizing the pledges that you two are making to each other today. Bill, would you please place Lori's ring on her finger? And while looking at Lori, repeat after me. Lori, I give you this ring. 
glory I give you this name. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Glory, please place Bill's ring on his finger. And repeat after me. Bill, I give you this ring. Bill, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. Bill and Lori, in a few moments I will pronounce you husband and wife, but before I do, I'd like for you to consider just a few additional words, and then we'll light the unity candle. Marriage means being in love for the rest of your life. Marriage is love walking hand in hand together, and it's laughing with each other about silly little things with care and tenderness. In marriage, love is trusting each other even when you're apart, and it's getting over disappointments and hurts knowing that they're present in all relationships. It's the realization that there is no one else in the world that you would rather be with than the person that you are with today. It's thinking of new things to do together, and it's growing old together. Marriage means being in love for the rest of your life. And at this time, we're going to light the unity candle, and I have a, a little poem for you. Soft mists embrace two golden flames, alone, they search the night. Two souls adrift in dreams of love. They seek to claim the light. The path is long from which they came, but sure they are its right. Two flames embrace in dreams of love. Two souls, two hearts unite. Today you have decided to share the rest of your lives with each other. This beautiful union is now symbolized by the lighting of the unity candle. The candle you are about to light is a candle of marriage. Go ahead and go over to your candles. The individual candles represent all that you are and all that you have been until this moment. It is a candle of unity because both candles must become, come together to create new light. Its fire is miraculous because it represents the light of two people in love. This candle is also a candle of commitment because it takes two people working together to keep it ablaze. Love is like a flame. It has the heat of passion. It is constantly changing. Changing its radiance is there for all to see, and together you must protect it for being extinguished. Bill and Lori, please place, please light the center candle. With your two candles, light the center candle if you can. Today, as you have lit this candle, may the brightness of the flame shine throughout your lives together. May the twinkle of this one light be a testimony of your union. May this candle burn brightly as a symbol of your love and commitment to each other. The life that each of you now experienced individually will hereafter be united, for the two shall become one. Bill and Lori, you have made your mirror vows to one another, witnessed by God and those of us here today. You have sealed your vows with the giving and receiving of the rings. So now by the power of us today, I pronounce you husband and wife. And you may kiss your wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Bill and Lori Anderson. Yay!